I'm trying to get through this video in the best way that I know how, and I'm trying to be very professional, but my mind is a little bit scatterbrained right now because I just found out that my little puppy Birkin, who is three months old, has been rushed to the animal hospital because he is being lethargic. He is not really eating and he is having literal diarrhea everywhere. So please keep him in your thoughts and your prayers. I am not in town to be with him right now, which is totally freaking me out, but thank God he is with someone that noticed it and they have taken him to the emergency hospital. So I'm gonna try to get through this video, but just know that my mind might I might drift over here or I might drift over there thinking about something else, but I want to sit down and I'm actually very excited to try this out and it is the Blendiful. And you guys know I'm not going to BS you when it comes to this because I don't BS you guys on anything. And I wasn't that excited about this when I saw that Tati announced she's releasing a powder poop. I mean, I talked about this with my friend Vanessa in a video before. It's like, it's an $18 powder poop. You are getting two in here though. And I don't know. <laughs> like when I first saw this on Tati's channel, first of all, I thought it was going to be bigger. It is very soft. It is almost like a makeup eraser when you look at it, but this one is more firm. This is the one that she said that you just have to basically, you know, dab your makeup and it just moves back into place. When she first announced that this is what she was coming out with, it was almost like a wah, wah, wah moment for me because she alluded to the fact back in December that it's gonna be something revolutionary. It's gonna be something that everyone needs to have in their kit. It's gonna be something that you can't live without. And personally, I feel like before even trying this, I can live without a powder poop. I can live without a powder poop 100%, but she said it is so much better than actually using a brush to do your makeup. And I actually hate using brushes to do my makeup. I don't wear like crazy foundation. I don't do crazy looks or anything like that, but I have been using this It Cosmetics brush right here. As you can see, it is on there. And the only thing I like to put on my skin is a Chanel water tint. I don't like a full coverage foundation. I don't like a lightweight foundation even because I feel like it looks cakey on my skin and I just feel like I cannot breathe during the day. So I actually can't wait to see if it works and if it does apply better because this seems like more fun to use just going like this rather than a brush having to swirl it around. You get like little brush marks. And sometimes with the brush, I found at least with this one, it kind of can look streaky, which I don't know, maybe that's just the Chanel water tint, but I actually did pick this one up when I was in Florida as well. This is the Jaclyn Hill Morphe Foundation Brush. This one is a little bit, a little bit more fluffy. So I guess we might try this on half of my face and then just use this on the other half. I have to be honest with you guys though, $18 for two powder poofs. I wanna know what the markup is on that because it cannot cost that much to mass produce some powder poofs. This is not, this is not a groundbreaking thing. It's literally just a poof with the Tati Beauty logo right here on the back. So $18, I think is a little bit steep. I kind of feel like this is just my opinion. She could have got away for, with selling this for maybe 10 to $12 and it would have been fine. So could this possibly be a cash grab? Ooh, I think it might be able to. And I know that Tati said in her video, like, I don't want you guys thinking that my brand is just a cash grab. Um, this to me seems like that. I mean, you came out with, you came out with like all of these amazing pills, guys. You know I've been supporting Tati for a long time. This is the Halo, I have the Kiwi. This is the Brain Booster and I have all of these packets right here because I have a subscription and I haven't been in town to take them. So they just keep piling up. So I am good to go for a while. I actually do have two of these because this is mine. And then this one I am gonna be doing a giveaway. So if you want to enter this, I am gonna leave the information at the end of this video, but let's get started. There is nothing on my skin right now. I literally shaved this morning, which my skin, feels a little bit tingly right now, but we're gonna give it a go. I don't know exactly, wait, did I bring my, should I do concealer first? Let's do concealer first. It's not concealer. That'd be great if that was concealer. This is my La Mer concealer right here. This is something that I actually love. I hated it at the beginning, but I have now learned that I actually really do like it. I just like to put it in the corners because you know what? If you put it out over here and you have fine lines like I do, then it does not look nice during the day, so. I guess what you do is you take this little point. You guys know that I'm a beauty guru and you are clearly gonna be coming back to this channel for all of your learning needs. I don't know how the hell to do this. You just wrap it around your finger or something. And then dab it out. Now, wait a minute. Now, wait a minute. I just realized I have blood in here because I was shaving. Wait a minute. I actually do like how easy that was. And I'm not gonna put a lot on because today we're just going to the Teresa Romer's house and we're just gonna do a little bit of filming, but... Okay, Tati, okay. I'm not, I'm not even gonna front. I'm not even gonna front. I do feel like that actually did blend out very nicely and I don't feel like too much product is on 
this. Now I have seen some people that were like, there's hairs on my face, there's hairs coming off of this thing. I do not see any little hairs at all. Um, so maybe I got a good one, I don't know. But I actually do like the way that looks. Okay, cool. Good for you, Tati. And now this is the Chanel water tint that I told you guys I like to use. This one is in the light deep. This is probably not the right color for me or the right shade, but for some reason, every time I go to pick up one of these up, they're always like, no, this is the shade that you need. So I always end up getting a different one. So we are just gonna give this a few pumps. And there it is, oh, oh, girl, there it is. And let's go. I guess you just drip it on your pants like I just did. <laughs> it's a little orange, girl. Because we're going for Donald Trump today, but we're ready to go. I literally dripped it right down my hoodie and onto my pants. I have to go under my eye, too, and a little bit above. Wait. Are we liking that? Does that look good? Let's try the other cheek. You know, it really starts out like orange, right? Oh. I feel like you would still have to use a brush because obviously your ears, like, let's, that's a look. That is a look. Wait, and it's still giving like good color on the forehead. I'm totally doing this wrong, you guys, but. I, <laughs> wait a minute though. My hair looks crazy. I have to go and get it done. I know this. I also, something that really made me like this from Tati is the way that she pulled the product up into her hairline because that can be a bitch. When my hair is normally like a platinum, not this crazy blue color, it can be very difficult. It can be very difficult to get like a bronzer or a product up by your hairline because it will start to turn that the color. So, this is for my hat. I was like, Oh my God, I'm having an allergic reaction to the Blendable. Oh, where's my hat? Okay. So you can see the Chanel water tint just gives you like a little bit of a glow. But, are we liking that? Does that look good? Are we loving it? I am kind of liking it. I'm not even gonna lie. I'm not... I'm not seeing any hairs. I did see a little bit of fuzz, but that's an eyelash. I'm not seeing any of the fuzz that people are saying that they were getting on their skin. I think that it does blend out very nicely. I don't feel like this picked up a ton of product. Obviously you can still see there is some on it, but if you actually move like the little fibers around, then I don't think that it actually held that much product, to be honest. Wait. Okay, so far I'm liking this. I'm not even gonna, I'm not even gonna front. I'm not even gonna be like, well, you know what's an $18 powder poop. I'm just kidding, yes I am. It's an $18 powder poop. Now, I don't know if this powder poof would be different if you got one from like a Krylon or something. I know that sometimes people like the Krylon ones. Hold up, how does this work? This is something that Michelle Wong actually got me to purchase and this is the Tom Ford, am I not doing it right? The Tom Ford Brow Gel Comb for men. Girl, it has one of these little like foots like that. I need to twist.
Girl, am I not doing something right? Oof. Girl, is there no fucking product in this? Like, hello? Is there like a thing you have to turn? Oh, wait. There's too much product. Now we're gonna see, I've never used one of these before. I don't know. Oh, no, oh, no, oh, no, oh. no. I think this only comes in the one shade. Two. I don't know how I feel about this. I feel like this is a learning curve. Wait. Did I do it wrong? Wait, does the eyebrow look good? No. This is a learning curve. I don't like this. <laughs> this, I don't know how to do my eyebrow. It looks like a sperm. My eyebrow looks like a sperm. Where's my normal? The normal thing that I use for my brows is literally just from Anastasia Beverly Hills. And it's just the clear brow gel. And I just like to get them. So, they're up. But putting actual color onto my brow seems a bit difficult and it actually looked more like a water tint as well so do they look the same do my brows look the same let me know in the comments if my brows look the same so i guess that this is it for this video you guys i normally will put on a bronzer as well as the jaclyn hill this is the shade brighten up i mix it in with my bronzer actually but i don't want to i don't feel like using a bronzer today so i'm actually kind of liking my skin i'm not even gonna front with you guys I do like the way that it blended out. Do I think that you need an $18 powder poof? No, I don't. I would be curious to see if anybody has done maybe this one with the Krylon one or another brand maybe you got it from Wish to see if it actually works the same. But I do I do think that it looks nice. I don't have my setting spray with me right now. Normally I'd finish this up with the Gerard Cosmetics Switch Luxe Collab in the Dream Sickle, Cream Sickle, whatever it's called. I will link that down below if you guys wanna save some money. I have an affiliate code, gives you like 30% off or something. So definitely check that out. Let me know. How do you think the skin looks? Do you love it? Do you hate it? Yes, my lip is dry right now. I am clearly not a beauty guru. But thank you guys so much for watching this video and getting my mind off of my puppy that is in Florida right now. And I love you bitches. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Don't